good afternoon. I hope you're doing well. And uh, as is a Dynamics 802 tradition, I'd like to take a few minutes to uh, say some words to you as we finish up our two years together. Unfortunately, I can't do this in person, which is usually how it works, uh, but we'll have to do. I think that we can all agree as this year comes to a close, it's been a hard pull. Staying motivated, staying on track, and staying positive have been real challenges. But here we are, Lake Odysseus, you must continue your quest. And every year, I recognize that what I have to say today, I said throughout our two years together in the operations of our day-to-day -day work on Team Dynamics. We've worked hard, we focused on basic principles and values like honesty, hard work, being polite, kindness, and self-discipline. As Odysseus stayed on different islands for different periods of time, so too have you stayed on Dynamics 802's island for the last two years. In thinking about that time together, it's hard to imagine what life was like just a few months ago. School was school. Some kids bought into it. Others saw little value in what we were doing. But together, we were slowly planting the seeds that would blossom this spring. We talked about relationships, principles, values. We set goals. We worked on organization, self-direction, and time management. More importantly, in retrospect, we were studying some of the issues that have spurred the protests across this country. Last year, for example, we looked at the Constitution, our rights as citizens, causes of the Civil War, racism, and the Civil Rights Movement. We connected those studies to our work this year by looking at culture, civilization, and we talked about what makes the civilization thrive and what brings the downfall of civilizations. And then, in an eerie foreshadowing of where we are now, in February, we launched our Breaking Barriers Vermont History Day project. We utilized the Black Lives Matter campaign to talk about hidden history, civil rights pioneers, Jackie Robinson, and the injustices that have occurred in the United States since our beginnings. Still, we had students select projects on African-American astronauts, the Tuskegee Airmen, and the University of Texas El Paso National Championship team. To me, that said we were paying attention. We recognize the injustices, we recognize the barriers, but we also recognize the heroes that could overcome those barriers. In perhaps our last act as a whole community, we collectively recognize centuries of injustice by raising the Black Lives Matter flag at Main Street Middle School. Together we learned, and together we acted. And then, after our winter vacation, a few short weeks later, the world turned upside down. We were all catapulted into our own journeys our own personal COVID-19 odyssey. Alone or with family and perhaps a few close friends, we had to face our fear, our anxiety, our boredom, and our senses of loss. But like Odysseus, we didn't quit. And although our team, our Ithaca, remained a distant memory, we were able through technology to keep our program alive. And despite the great challenges, we sh saw our share of victories too. Vermont History Day wins, some outstanding creative work, online gaming, and final reflection projects brought our individual journeys back into our community. As Odysseus set out for Ithaca, he too could not have imagined that it would take 10 years to achieve his goal. Neither could we imagine this journey to the cusp of graduation. Recently, President Obama addressed the class of 2020. He said, the thing is, what these past few weeks have shown us is that the challenges we face go well beyond a virus and that the old normal wasn't good enough. It wasn't working. In a lot of ways, the pandemic just brought into focus problems that have been growing for a very long time. Whether it's widening economic inequality, the lack of basic health care for millions of people, the continuing scourge of bigotry and sexism, or the divisions and dysfunction that plague our political system. The protests in response to the killing of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery speak to decades worth of anguish and frustration over unequal treatment and a failure to change. But they also remind us that our individual well-being depends on the well-being of the community that we live in and that it doesn't matter how much money you make if everyone around you is hungry or sick. It reminds you that our country and our democracy only function when we think not just about ourselves but about each other. So as scary and as uncertain as these times may be, they are also a wake-up call, and they are an incredible opportunity for our generation. 
your generation. Because you don't have to accept the world as it is. You can make it into the world as it should be and as it could be. As Hazel stated this morning, we can do this. We can fix it. Tomorrow, you leave the Dynamics 802 Island. Your journey, your odyssey continues. I hope that you're the hero of that journey. And more than that, I want to thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you've achieved. Again, I wish you great success, happiness, and the courage and wisdom to fight for justice and equality. Thanks for everything, folks. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see your graduation. And good luck in all your pursuits in the future. Thank you.